So a quick video on percent change and um, or change in percent. I've always called percent change. So really the percent change in values is equal to the new value. So the value after the change has occurred minus the original value divided by the original value. And since we're really talking about um, since we're really talking about a percentage, then we really need to multiply this by 100 once we're done, or it's not going to be in a percentage. It'll be in a decimal. So, um, so let's say that we have uh, 742, uh, uh, I don't know, whatever, blueberries, okay? And... I, because I'm a pig, eat 137 blueberries. Okay, so I eat them. And it just happens to be I'm using a blue ink. And so uh, there's, 100, there's 137 from gone. So what's the new value? And I don't have the calculator in front of me, so let's do the subtraction. Looks like that's going to be 5, 605. So now the new value is 605. Okay. So if I want to determine what the percent change is, I'm going to input the new value, the number of blueberries I have now, 605. Then I'm going to subtract the original value, 742. I'm going to divide by the original value, 742. And then I'm going to multiply that by 100. And I'll show you why that 100 has to be there uh, when we do the calculation, because I'll do all the calculator calculations until um, we get to that part. I want this guy. And I want to not do that. I want to... How do I do this again? I'm going to have to fiddle around with this. Maybe I wanted to do this. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. So there's my video. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to take uh, 605 minus 742. And I'm going to take negative 137. I'm going to divide it by 742. And I get the following. So percent change is equal to negative 0 0.211 dot 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 dot. And I still have that times 100. So notice I have a decimal there and it should sort of make sense that um, it's a 21 percent decrease. And so what's happening is my percent change is a negative number 0 0.2111 one, times 100. When I multiply that 100, I'll get negative 21.11%. So I'm going to take uh, this number, multiply it times 100. And so I get 21.159 is what they're telling us. 159%. So it's a 21% decrease as indicated by this negative by this negative sign, the negative symbol right here where I'm doing this green thing, negative 21.159%. So it was a decrease in 21%. If I had an increase, I would do the following. Let's say uh, one of you guys came in, you dumped another uh, container of blueberries and we counted them and I wasn't, uh, we spread them out and you all took it some turns counting. And so now we have 856 blueberries. And so it depends on where you wanna count from. Do you wanna count the percent increase from after I ate them or the percent increase after, or prior to me eating them from the start of the day? So what do we have, 742? So let's do that one. Yeah, so we had 742. So all said and done, we had 742, 
After I ate them and after you replaced some, we increased up to 856, excuse me, 856. So um, if I want to calculate the percent change, that's going to be equal to the new value, 856, minus the original value, 742, divided by the original value, 742. And now we know why we need to multiply that 100 so we can reflect the value as a percent. And so 856 minus 742 is 114 divided by 742 times 100. And so 114 divided by 742 times 100, Let's see if it does this correctly, equals, notice how the number is positive, 15.363% increase. Okay, so you're always going to have to tell me increase or decrease, right? So now the problem that you were given uh, in the homework looks something like this. Uh, what value represents a, and I think it was 14 point something, but let's say 17.2% decrease from 748, okay? So let's set this up. So this is kind of a backwards problem. I don't know what the the new amount is. I know what the original amount was, was 748. Just understand that if it's a decrease, I need to make sure that I have a negative symbol, oops, a negative symbol for my 17.2, or it's gonna be incorrect. The math is gonna be wrong. Uh, and I'm gonna have my new value, which I don't know, because I'm gonna decrease from 748, so my new value is unknown. My original value was 748 divided by my original value, 748, and this is 100. I'm gonna divide both sides by 100. Why do I wanna do that? Because this 100, I want to be one, and so I'm gonna divide both sides by 100. I'm gonna have negative 0.172. I'm gonna have N minus 748. I apologize for the noise in the background. If you can hear it, that's the air conditioning coming on it's Monday and it's warm out. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 748. Why? Because um, I want this 748 to be 1. So I'm left with just n minus 748. So if I multiply the right side by 748, I have to multiply this side by 748. And I have negative 0 0.172 times 748. It recognizes it, and it does, except that's supposed to be a decimal. I think it's doing some European thing. It thinks it's a decimal, and it's doing it correctly, because that's the correct number. And so I get negative 128656. Now I'm going to add 748 to both sides. this to be an equal sign again. Oh my goodness, get rid of that. Slide over, there we go. And now I'm gonna take this number and I'm gonna add 748. Let's see if it does this. Nope. So I'm gonna do this, drag it up here. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag it down here. Nope, doesn't like it. I'm still getting used to this plus 748, now it'll do it. And so I get 619.344 equals N. And so my new amount, which represents a 17.2% decrease from 748 is 619. If you would like, you can try to play around with this and practice with numbers that you know. For instance, if you wanna represent a 15% increase, from let's say 100, you would end up having 115 because 15% 15 of 100 is 15. So if the numbers are easy, it's very easy to figure out, calculate, etc. If they're more complex, not, not base 100 or 10 or something like that, um, it's not as intuitive. So we resort to this formula, which again is um, this thing here, this guy right there. Okay, so you need to try to commit that to memory. All right, that's it. I think this is longer than I want it to be. Uh, good luck.